What's up folks, welcome to the Beast Corn channel. In this video we're going to play something a little bit more better. Age of Civilizations 2. I didn't say that like, Little Nightmares 2 were bad, actually not. We're gonna play it part 3 or 4. Fourth, I don't know, it's coming soon. It's gonna be with my friend, we're gonna have a great reaction. We're gonna be in our own private zone. So we will be able to make a free reactions without thinking that we're in some own place, right? So thank you folks for supporting, watching, and I really appreciate what you do. So make sure you hit the subscribe button because we start. Our goal for today is to continue vassalizing taking down the world. As you can see, we sooner became the biggest United States, even the greatest. I remember how we alliance with the Israel. If we'll be able to alliance with the United Kingdom, we're gonna be three whole team. As the United States, I can see that the United Kingdom has a relationship with us and it's so positive. So we send even more positive relationship. And we see that if we will go a little bit higher, we're gonna have a relation, I mean, we will be able to unite with the United Kingdom. Some couple turns. There we go. And now we're aliens with the England. What happened right now is United States, Israel and England are alienced. But with Israel, we have very close relationship. This relationship is a union. So I'll teach you how to union with some country. You gotta pick up the country that in real life has a great relationship with each other, have very genuine help and help each other. What will happen? You're going to have great relationship with that country. If you're gonna do it non-politically, with a clean heart, and some after some couple of returns, what will happen? You will see that the country that you were allied with is going to accept your union offer and what will happen your territory will be bigger as the United States I can see the Spain is actually doing well what we have to do right now is we're going to give money to Algeria it was 100,000 gold and then we will ask it to start war with Spain after when Algeria started a war with Spain with 100,000 gold, I'm pretty sure Algeria will do well as it is doing right now. If I'll see that Algeria is going even further, what we're gonna do is we're going to take Algeria down. I don't think any progress here. And I'm pretty sure that now Algeria, Spain will start fighting. It's going to be brutal. We're gonna help Algeria a little bit more. 180,000 golds going there, make out we ain't gonna have any assimilation problems, rebel problems, people, and so on. Because every time when I'm funding other countries in order to start sustainableizing political relationships in a country, what happening is my country going crazy. I see the Vietnam and China start a war, and Vietnam is actually divided by the two pieces, and the China divided by the three pieces, and it's absolutely nice and sustainable condition here. 253,000 economy. How much economy in the United States? 551. Boom! We're actually doing well. So what we have to do, we didn't have to touch anything right now. What we have to do is we have to better our economy. Sorry, folks. I got a little bit, little bit sick. I don't know why. Here we go, folks. We're going to build everything that's going to further generate incomes for us. As you can see, when we started a game, we only was a 13,000 cash flow, and it has a reason. Because I am actually investing my assets, money, everything on something. That's why we have a low condition from the beginning. But step by step, as you can see, we have a great relationships with our country. And not only that, we have a great economy because we have a great relationship with our people. Our next goal is to defend Washington DC. As you can see, three thousands of army are here. I have to deny it. I think I will just say goodbye to the England. Because the only way that I will keep a sustainable relationship with the England, because when you're not in an alliance or you are regretting something when alliance is won, they will try to tear you back down. Because everybody starts from down. So Russia started a great relationship with many of the United States and even 
ready to be aliens with us. And I'm pretty sure that if I will aliens with Russia, Russia will start fighting the world. And it's not going to be great for me. That's why we will say nothing to the Russia's offer. As you can see, we're slowly growing up and getting a technological points. And I see that Russia economy is actually 153,000. It's not the strongest country. If any country with a 200,000 economy level will start a war with Russia, Russia will go down in it, in it game. By the way, folks, I'm not talking about your country. Don't take it so personal. Don't start bullshitting in the comments, all right? I love every country. I don't think about no policy. We're just enjoying the game. And we're BizCon, right? We're making a blog video. So if you remember, we did a very great, and it was hard for us, the film, short film about taking a base. Something like Call of Duty. We just put the NATO flag and I put the American flag. We started fighting. The fight was actually a little bit weird. But next time, if you will love that, we're gonna make it organized. We're actually thinking about that, buying the drones, making it more professional, because if we will do it professional, it's gonna be alright. So let's just come back to the, what we're gonna do now, right now. As you can see, I'm keeping building assets that are sooner going to generate for me economy, income. Yeah, we're almost getting to the millions, and as you can see, simulation pops out because it's time. When a simulation pops out in a place where you didn't even wait it, it to be appeared and doing it very wild, know that some country trying to take you down. For example, the fact that I had a really small simulation requirement, that means no one touched me. I can actually play my game. But if I will see that I have a problem, really problem there, that means we have to take down our enemies. Then what I do is I'm going to research enemy list, finding a worst enemy that worth to kill. I start to destroy it. Of course, with the hands of other country. Money is, does everything, right? Here we go, folks. We're going to generate this lost asset here and start generating army because what we need is cash flow. Cash flow generates soldier. It keeps soldier in the places where we want to keep it. For example. Here. Oh, Azerbaijan wants something here. Azerbaijan wants to have a military access to our territory. Reason is because United States took this place of Armenia and now it's sitting here. I don't know. I'm thinking. If I let Azerbaijan to do what he want to do. Oh. Iraq fights with Azerbaijan. It took Azerbaijan literally. It is not true. I can't let Iraq to do what do you want to do? I'm gonna accept the offer of Azerbaijan Republic. Let's see what will happen. Now Azerbaijan has access to our territories and will start to attack Iraq, take down whatever you wanna do. Yeah. It's Arabia. This is Iraq. We have to destroy we we, uh, we can actually ask Arabia to start away hey, Arabia. I'm gonna give you the gift that you never been able to see in your lifetime of existence. So and now I'm going to ask you to start war with the Iraq. This will help you to absolutely do whatever you want. Oh my God! Start it with a great progress, like a match, right? But something is bad happening to it. We have to fund it. Keep funding it. You see that? You're not even ready for that yet. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we have to take Spain down. Cause Spain is already doing well. We're gonna ask the Nigeria to start a war with Spain. We have to take Spain out of Asia. We can't let Spain to become a biggest empire. Impossibility. Oh my god, Nigeria got a 424,000 economy. That's wild. So we're not going to fund it anymore because it's stupid to fund a country that has a Economy close to yours. Whatever he has, the Elvis falling back. So, as the United States, we're going to generate more army. And of course, send it to the sea. Now, this place is the Florida. State Florida, Miami is under control. Oh. Miami is not under control yet. So, what we're gonna do, we're not going to touch 
Noma from Miami. Why? Let them enjoy your business. We're going to take other provinces and then push it to the sea, right? Here we go, folks. Here we go. The reason why I took it Cuban places is because it now generates me a lot of income. If we will look back to the beautiful map, we're gonna see that be able to see that United States has actually improved this kind of places like this. This is the United States zone. So we're going to sooner build even more economy here. And what I'm saying about economy, economy is not taking down other countries. Economy is when you are actually doing well by creating assets, farms, workshops, universities haven't been able to do that. Even if you're a small country and doing it all, by the way, if you will be able to generate armory supply camp, you will be able to start attacking the world. All what you need is this economy and strategy, nothing else. Of course, a little bit of mindset. If you will attack a country that 10 times better than you, it's going to find out a way to take you down. And when it will take you down, you will have to start everything again. I don't think that you will do it. So let's just do it. How much is that? 6,000? 3,000? No, 60,000. I was just freaked out. I was like, dude, is this a bug again? Couple of turns, and now economy turns to a lot of things. As you can see, we are now in a golden age of civilizations with a profit of 10% of a population growth, economy growth of the 8%, income tax is a 6%. Of course, everybody's going to pay income that's less than it required. Goods are high, United States always will get better here. As you can see, research levels and goods are going to be high. Here we go. So people see that goods are high. When the goods are high, what they do is they're building a business because there are a lot of goods they have to sell. Amazon.com, whatever. And now they start selling it on Amazon. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Look how strategically I'm explaining it to myself in order to play. That's why I'm successful in this game. As you can see, now the United States controlling the world. But one problem is I forgot about this South America. So Venezuela should start war with a chill. He actually doesn't have that big economy. I don't have to worry about nothing. I'm just looking at the relationships that chill has nothing with me. Even bad. Of course I will ask. Venezuela here to fight you out. And I will fund Venezuela in order to make him win. Here we go, our fonts are having a result. No, 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 I didn't know any cinematic music. I'm pretty sure that Chill is gonna die now. Because Dr. Congo, <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. DR Congo, what does that mean? Can you, can everybody, anybody explain it to me? I'm gonna select the Chill, give you gold. Yes, you got the money now. And now Germany sends us bad relationship, which means it is time to take Germany down. I'm sorry, Germany. I see that you have any great relationships or time on you. That's why you have a time to send bad relationships to us. So as a Poland, we're going to send Poland a lot of money. Italy. Italy fight, fights with the Egypt. I remember the day when Italy was absolutely down. Oh my god, Germany! Germany, Hitler attacks! Okay, you gotta be careful now. Hey, France, do you remember how big you were? What the hell is going on with, with you? I want you to come back down and start fighting with the Germany. So you got a great opportunity to win. So, I, so you know, generally small countries have a big opportunities to attack. But they're not, they're like a match. And that's it. Yeah, France is coming back. Come on, France. We need you back. Yes. And Italy. No, I don't want Italy to do nothing. Italy just divided this Europe to the two pieces. The one thing is better for 
means that Italy now divided it uh, from Russia. Russia, what, what's about Russia? Oh, economy going vital. So what we have to do is time to touch Russia. Let's ask Vietnam start a war with Russia. I see that Vietnam economy is much more better and suitable for that. We're going to fund Vietnam right now. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be absolutely enough for Vietnam. And the next thing, we're asking China to fight with Russia. That's it, Russia is done again. So, Russia's economy is going to go down now. Here we go. This is what the 79 is going down. You gotta fight out. Yeah! Oh, that's bad. That's vital. Hey, China! See, you have a great relationship with me. You gotta take the Russia down. Tear it back down now! Great. Great, great. So here is, folks. Here how we are keeping sustainability in it. countries. Yeah. South America is under sustainability again. New, new governments are here, appeared. We're going to take down a Nigeria. Our next step is going to be Nigeria. So thank you, folks, for coming and watching this beautiful show or a game, whatever you call it. Call it out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because next time it's going to be absolutely nice. Subscribe for a piece. Goodbye.